All right, Jennifer, thank you. She was one of the favorites of the 20th century in the United States with distant ties to Atlanta. Everybody knew Doris Day, and she starred in those 1960 movies like Pillow Talk, and of course, we remember the song Que Sera Sera. Tonight, she's being remembered for her work after passing away at the age of 97 in Northern California. But she was also known for several failed investments. Her life was a very, very difficult one away from show business. She married men that stole her money, and she made some investments that left her broke. And she was able to, to rebound and, and make more money and, and then continue with her life. But there were some really difficult valleys for her. One of those investments happened here in Atlanta. Casino mogul Jay Sarno was the mind behind the Atlanta Cabana Motor Hotel, which opens its doors in 1958 on Peachtree Street. We all remember that if you've lived here for any period of time. Day added her financial support to the project and then two other Cabana hotels across the United States. The hotels were a prelude to Sarno's great success, Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas. The Atlanta Cabana, not nearly as successful though, and uh, Doris Day lost a lot of money here when she sold her share. The hotel went through several reincarnations before it was demolished in the year 2002. I remember it also as a, a Howard Johnson's. I think a lot mm -hmm. of people will remember that as well. But the name Doris Day will always be mentioned in the rise and fall of the Atlanta Cabana Motor Hotel. That is a memory flogger, ladies and gentlemen, from an Atlanta that is far away and long ago gone. Yeah.